हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द निराली प्रकाशन पुणेज कम्युनिटी फार्मेसी एंड मैनेजमेंट बुक फॉर सेकेंड ईयर डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी रिटर्न एज पर न्यू सिलेबस इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय फार्मेसी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली एज एन एजुकेशन रेगुलेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फॉर डिप्लोमा कोर्स इन फार्मेसी अंडर रेगुलेशन सेवन दिस बुक इज ऑथर बाय वन ऑफ द रिनोड ऑथर एंड एक्सपीरियंसड एकेडमिशन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर अशोक हजारे who is currently working at Bharti Vidyapeet College of Pharmacy Kolhapur Maharashtra Community pharmacy also known as retail pharmacy is the most common type of pharmacy that allows the public access to their medications and advice about their health it's a place under the direct supervision of pharmacist where the practice of pharmacy occurs or where prescription orders are compounded and dispensed The community pharmacy is the prime source of medicines for patients. The drug and cosmetic products and devices manufactured by pharma companies are made available to the community pharmacies through straight distributors, district distributors or wholesaler and clearing and forwarding agents. Private pharmacies are often the first and only source of healthcare for the majority of patients. Community pharmacies are considered to be the most accessible health professional to the public as they are available to provide personalized advice about health and medicine on walk-in basis without the need of for an appointment the types of community pharmacies exist in particular area depend on the regulation in that area for example in the usa pharmacies in large chains or supermarkets are tremendously more common than independently owned pharmacies This is in contrast to many countries in Europe that limit pharmacies to be owned by registered pharmacist who is restricted to owning less than a certain number of pharmacies making large chain impossible community pharmacy is further supported by pharmaceutical jurisprudence regulatory science and management the book community pharmacy and management consists of 9 chapters chapter first is community pharmacy practice it includes introduction to practice of community pharmacy its definition scope of community pharmacy practice and role of community pharmacist history of community pharmacy practice and its development it also includes current scenario of community pharmacy practice at international level that includes developed developing and underdeveloped countries this chapter ends with a special emphasis on indian scenario of community pharmacy practice and pharmaceutical legislation for community pharmacy practice in india chapter second is professional responsibility of community pharmacist it includes introduction to professional responsibilities of community pharmacist and concept of good pharmacy practice the good pharmacy practice section is elaborated with the details such as its underlying philosophy and requirements recommendation of world health organization and good pharmacy practice standards and good pharmacy practice in india at the end of this chapter introduction to standard operating procedures used in community pharmacy are described the description includes history requirements preparation and benefits of standard operating procedures chapter 3 is prescription and prescription handling it includes introduction to prescription its definition parts of prescription legality of prescription prescription handling labeling of dispensed medication main label ancillary label pictograms brief instruction on medication usage dispensing and dispensing process good dispensing practice dispensing errors and strategies to minimize errors chapter 4 is communication skills it starts with introduction followed by definition of communication skills types of communication and communication skills and how to communicate effectively besides it also includes interaction with the professionals and with the patients and verbal as well as written communication skills this chapter ends with body language and patient interview techniques chapter 5 is patient counseling it includes introduction definition benefits of patient counseling and stages of patient counseling in addition it also describes barriers to effective patient counseling types of barriers and strategies 
to overcome barriers. Besides, it also includes patient counseling points for chronic diseases, disorders such as hypertension, diabetes, asthma, tuberculosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and AIDS. It also emphasizes on definition and uses patient package inserts and patient information leaflets. Chapter 6 is Medication Adherence. It covers introduction and definition of medication adherence. It describes factor influencing non-adherence and strategies to overcome non-adherence. Chapter 7 is Health Screening Services in Community Pharmacy. It includes introduction and scope and importance of various health screening services. It also presents health screening services used in routine monitoring of patients, early detection of diseases and referral of undiagnosed cases. Chapter 8 is Over-the-Counter OTC Medications. This chapter begins with the introduction and definition of OTC medications. It presents need and role of pharmacist in OTC medication dispensing. This chapter also presents OTC medication in India and counseling by community pharmacists for OTC products. In addition, it presents the concept of self-medication and role of pharmacist in promoting the safe practices during self-medication. Finally, it presents role of community pharmacy in responding to symptoms, minor ailments and advices for self-care in the management of pain, cough and cold, diarrhea, constipation, vomiting, fewer sore throat, skin disorders and oral health. The last chapter 9 is Community Pharmacy Management. It mainly deals with the Community Pharmacy Business Management. It begins with the introduction and definition of management followed by legal requirements to set up Community Pharmacy, site selection requirements and pharmacy designs and interiors. It presents information about vendor, vendor selection, ordering pharmacy, inventory, procurement, inventory control methods and inventory management. Besides, it presents finance concepts used in community pharmacy that includes financial planning and management. It also presents with the concept of accountancy such as day book and cash book used in community pharmacy. In addition, this chapter also includes introduction to pharmacy, operation softwares, its usefulness and availability. It also includes customer relation management, audits in pharmacies, SOP of pharmacy management, introduction to digital health and online pharmacies. Each chapter in this book is presented with the objective of studying respective chapter for understanding of the contents described. The general scheme of chapter include introduction to the chapter or the contents specified under respective chapter and review question for self-evaluation. So friends, best wishes for selecting this book for studying community pharmacy and management subject. Your truthful feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you so much for the love and appreciation extended for all my pharmacy books published earlier.